In the beginning, amidst the sprawling landscapes of the Lower Paleolithic period, early hominids embarked on a journey of discovery. Their hands, guided by an innate curiosity, grasped stones from the earth and, through primitive experimentation, crafted the first rudimentary tools. The clinking of rocks against rocks echoed through the ancient valleys, marking the birth of an era. Hi all, welcome again to Story Time with Philip. These early tools were elemental extensions of the hominids will a means to shape their environment and secure sustenance. Chipped and fashioned with patient effort, these stones became the companions of survival in a world fraught with challenges. Sharp edges emerged, serving as both weapons for hunting and defenses against the predators that lurked in the shadows. The hominids, adorned with the mantle of tool-making prowess, found themselves with a newfound advantage. No longer entirely at the mercy of the natural world, they began to shape their destiny with these stone implements. The simplicity of these tools belied the complexity of the cognitive leap that accompanied their creation a leap that distinguished early hominids from the rest of the animal kingdom. In the ensuing epochs, the tapestry of time unfolded, revealing the interwoven tales of two hominid species, Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. The Middle Paleolithic era saw these two branches of the human family navigating the challenges of survival in a world that demanded both resilience and adaptability. The landscapes echoed with the sounds of chipping stones, as both Neanderthals and Homo sapiens honed their skills in toolmaking. The tools, once rudimentary, now bore the marks of sophistication. The hand axes of the Lower Paleolithic were succeeded by finely crafted blades, exemplifying an evolutionary arms race driven by the need for efficiency and precision. Neanderthals, with their robust physique, found solace in the cold climates of Europe and Asia. They adorned themselves with symbolic trinkets, buried their dead with deliberate care, and left behind evidence of a complex social structure. Homo sapiens, emerging from Africa, brought with them a cognitive prowess that set the stage for intricate tools and unprecedented cultural expressions. The encounter between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens became a pivotal moment in the saga of the Stone Age. Whether through competition, collaboration, or a complex dance of both, these two hominid species left an indelible mark on the archaeological record. The echoes of their coexistence lingered in the layers of sediment, a testament to the intricacies of ancient relationships. As the sun continued its journey across the vast canvas of time, the Upper Paleolithic era unfolded with a symphony of innovation, creativity, and profound cultural expression. Around 40,000 to 10,000 years ago, the stage was set for a remarkable change in the Stone Age saga. The stone tools of the Upper Paleolithic were not mere instruments of survival, they became the brushes and chisels of a burgeoning artistic movement. Homo sapiens, the sole surviving hominid species, embarked on a journey of self-discovery that found expression in the art adorning cave walls and personal adornments. Deep within the subterranean sanctuaries of the earth, cave paintings emerged as a testament to the human capacity for symbolic thought. The flickering torchlight illuminated vivid depictions of animals, hunting scenes, and enigmatic symbols. These ancient artists, armed with mineral pigments and charcoal, painted a vivid tableau of their worldview. The tools of the Upper Paleolithic were not confined to the shadows of caves. Sharpened bone and antler implements served as extensions of creativity, crafting intricate personal ornaments and tools for specialized tasks. The stone tools, too, evolved into finely crafted blades and points, revealing a mastery of flint napping that transcended mere functionality. But the artistic endeavors of this era extended beyond the tangible. Ritualistic practices, burial customs, and a growing awareness of the metaphysical wove through the fabric of daily life. The stone tools, now imbued with symbolic significance, bridged the tangible and the intangible, becoming conduits for a spiritual awakening. With the end of Upper Paleolithic, a new era began the Mesolithic era. It was a time of transition, a metamorphosis that bridged the ancient past with the dawn of a more settled existence. Between approximately 10,000 and 5,000 BCE, 
humanity stood at the crossroads, navigating the changing landscapes with a mixture of adaptability and resilience. The stone tools of the Mesolithic reflected the evolving needs of a changing society. As nomadic lifestyles persisted, so did the need for versatile tools. Microliths, small and finely crafted stone blades, became a hallmark of this era. These tools were not only effective for hunting and cutting but also symbolized a newfound precision in craftsmanship. As glaciers retreated and climates shifted, Mesolithic communities found themselves adapting to a changing environment. The nomadic whispers of the past were not entirely silenced, but they harmonized with the emerging rhythms of settled life. The first signs of communal gatherings and seasonal migrations hinted at a growing complexity in social organization. The Mesolithic era was not solely defined by survival, it witnessed a blossoming of cultural expressions. Artifacts from this time reveal a people attuned to their surroundings, utilizing materials like bone, antler, and wood alongside the enduring stone. Personal adornments and intricately carved implements hinted at a society not only meeting its basic needs but also exploring the realms of aesthetics. The Mesolithic whispers faded, and a new era dawned the Neolithic era. Humanity embarked on a transformative journey, sowing the seeds of civilization that would sprout into settled societies and forever change the course of history. In this era, the stone tools that once mirrored nomadic existence found a new purpose tilling the soil. The fertile ground became a canvas for the cultivation of plants, marking the advent of agriculture. Stone axes, hoes, and sickles transformed the landscape, turning it into a mosaic of cultivated fields and domesticated crops. As humans learned the art of taming the wild progenitors of wheat, barley, and other plants, settlements sprang forth. Nomadic wanderers became the architects of permanent homes, fostering the growth of communities. The hearths that once flickered in temporary camps now burned with the warmth of settled life. The Neolithic toolkit expanded beyond stone to include pottery, a revolutionary craft that enabled the storage and preparation of food. Clay vessels bore witness to the surplus yielded by agriculture, and the artistry of Neolithic potters added aesthetic dimensions to the practicality of their creations. The symbiotic relationship between humans and animals deepened during the Neolithic, as selective breeding led to the domestication of cattle, sheep, and other creatures. The pastoral lifestyle became intertwined with settled agricultural communities, creating a mosaic of interdependence that characterized the Neolithic way of life. The Stone Age entered a new phase where nomadic wanderers transformed into settled communities. The hearths that once dotted the landscape of temporary camps now blazed brightly at the heart of villages, marking a profound shift in the human experience. As the epoch of settled life dawned, stone tools continued to play a pivotal role in shaping existence. Axes and adzes hewed timbers to erect dwellings that stood as testaments to the endurance of settled communities. The very landscape was altered as humans became stewards of their environment, clearing land for agriculture and creating a patchwork of fields. The sedentary lifestyle prompted further innovations. Storage facilities, once unnecessary for nomadic life, became essential as surplus crops demanded preservation. Granaries, crafted with the same ingenuity as stone tools of old, guarded against the uncertainties of the seasons. Pottery, an art form, now flourished in the hands of Neolithic artisans. Vessels for storage and cooking, adorned with intricate designs, became both utilitarian objects and expressions of cultural identity. The potter's wheel, a technological leap, elevated the craft to new heights. Communities, bound by the common goals of agriculture and settlement, developed social structures. Leadership roles emerged, and shared responsibilities in agriculture, defense, and communal rituals wove a fabric of interconnected lives. The stone tools that once served individual needs now played a communal role, shaping the identity and cohesion of burgeoning societies. As the Neolithic era unfurled its tapestry of settled life, a revolution emerged the transition from stone to metal, marking the birth of the Bronze Age. Around 3300 BCE, humanity's toolkit expanded beyond the limitations of stone, venturing into the transformative realm of metallurgy. Copper, with its malleable allure, 
was the first metal to be harnessed. The chisel-like echoes of stone tools were joined by the rhythmic beat of hammers shaping this new material. Copper tools and ornaments emerged, signaling a technological leap that would redefine the course of human history. The true alchemy, however, occurred when copper met tin in the embrace of the forge. The fusion gave birth to bronze, a metal that transcended the constraints of its predecessors. Bronze tools and weapons possessed a durability and sharpness unmatched by their stone counterparts. Axes, swords, and other implements crafted from this alloy reshaped the very nature of human industry and warfare. Bronze casting, a sophisticated skill, allowed artisans to create intricate sculptures and artifacts, marking the emergence of a distinctive Bronze Age aesthetic. The power to shape metal became a symbol of societal status, and the mastery of metallurgy sparked trade networks that crisscrossed ancient landscapes. The Stone Age, with its foundational tools, had paved the way for this revolutionary shift. Now, metalworking laid the groundwork for urban centers, trade routes, and the rise of early civilizations. The chisel had become a sword, cutting through the barriers of the past and ushering in a new era one where the glint of metal reflected the dazzling possibilities of human potential. The Stone Age yielded to the transformative embrace of the Bronze Age. The revolution, unveiled in the flames of the forge, propelled humanity into an age of metal, shaping a future that sparkled with the promise of innovation, conquest, and the enduring legacy of a journey that began with the humble stones of ancient times.